Congratulations on your step up to Scanex. This short presentation will make sure you get off to a quick and seamless start. Scanex with Inline Erase is extremely easy to use. It needs no maintenance, and as long as you follow the steps I'm going to take you through today, you'll be comfortable making high-quality digital images in a very short time. Air Techniques makes several models of Scanex for intraoral and extraoral imaging. You still use the same x-ray equipment as before. This video will walk you through five easy steps. Set up, prepare, expose, insert, and view. The setup process is very simple. By now, your Scanex unit should have been properly installed and connected to your computer. Your computer uses one of several software programs, and this software has to be installed in order to use Scanex. The unit should be placed in a convenient location in your office, away from bright light, especially direct sunlight. Air Techniques recommends a fixed countertop versus a rolling cart. Make sure your computer and monitor are turned on and your digital imaging software is open. Then make sure the Scanex is turned on with the membrane switch on the front of the scanner. The control panel has two membrane switches. The ready switch on the left turns the machine on and off. A green LED on this switch means the Scanex is ready to use. The eraser switch on the right controls the inline erase function. There may be times when you don't want the Scanex to automatically erase a plate when it's finished scanning. When the blue LED is illuminated, the erase function is activated. Press the right side switch once and the blue LED will flash, meaning the erase function is disabled. Instead of x-ray films, you use these reusable phosphor storage plates. They're abbreviated PSPs, but most people call them plates. With PSPs, most exposures require less radiation. It's safer for everyone. These plates are for intraoral use. After we work with them, we'll look at the differences for extraoral plates. You'll see that every plate has a blank side and a printed side. The blank side is also called the tube side or the sensitive side. This is a barrier envelope. Each envelope has a transparent side and an opaque side and there's a little peel-off adhesive strip right here at the top. The next step is to prepare your plates for use. It's important to work with recently erased plates, and Scanex with Inline Erase makes this process easier than ever. Each plate is automatically erased after it is read. Take an erased plate and put it into the barrier envelope with the printed side of the plate visible through the transparent side of the envelope. Peel off the adhesive strip and use your finger to gently seal the envelope. Use the same infection control practices as before, like gloves and protective attire. And you can use all of your current film holders. Because the plate is thinner than film, with some holders you may need to fold the barrier envelope. If you use alligator clips, make sure you file down the teeth. This is called the transfer box. It's where you keep your exposed plates until you're ready to scan them. The box protects the plates from light, which can reduce the quality of the image. Before exposing the plates, it's important to open the transfer box with the lid facing away from you. We do this to prevent cross-contamination later. Put the envelope with the plate inside into the patient's mouth, just as you would an x-ray film. The opaque side of the envelope faces the tooth, so as long as you can see the lettering on the plate through the window of the envelope, you're good to go. As an additional help, on the printed side of each plate is a letter A. This is like the reference dot on x-ray films. Orient the plate in the patient's mouth so the A is in its normal upright position, like you would see it when reading. Then, after scanning, the image on the monitor will appear normal or mirrored. That, coupled with your knowledge of dentistry, will enable you to properly orient the image. When you're ready to expose the image, you may have to decrease the x-ray dosage, depending on which equipment you own and the film type you have been using. A good starting point is an exposure that is 50% less than D-speed film. You may need to experiment a little bit to determine the best setting. 
Okay, so far we've taken an erased phosphor plate and inserted it with the printed side facing out, through the window in the barrier envelope. We've sealed the envelope by peeling off the adhesive strip, and we've put the envelope into the patient's mouth with the opaque side facing the tube head and the printed side of the plate visible. The opaque side always faces the tube head. The little letter A is our reference that the plate is inserted correctly. Now expose your images. You've exposed the image, and it's now time to let Scanex do its job. Step four is inserting the plates into Scanex. Now, the first few times you prepare the plate for scanning, it may seem a little tricky, but it's very easy to get the hang of it. Still wearing the gloves, take the envelope out of the patient's mouth. If you're taking several images, put the envelopes in a cup or on a towel. While still in the operatory, take the envelope with the plate inside and tear open the envelope the long way, starting at the notch you see here. Drop the plate out of the envelope and into the transfer box, being sure not to touch the plate or the transfer box with your gloved hand. Remove your gloves and close the transfer box. You can now proceed to the scanning area, having left all contaminated materials in the operatory. Now, this is important. When the plate lands in the transfer box, make sure the sensitive side, the blank side, is facing down. If it's not facing down, turn the plate over the right way Otherwise, the plate can begin to erase. Your Scanex comes with several different plate guides for various size plates. Make sure the guide matches the plates you are using before inserting the plates in the scanner. The guides lift in and out very easily. It's important to have one guide in each of the four spaces since they hold the others in place. Any combination of guides is fine. When the Scanex is activated, the four LEDs will illuminate green. Now you're ready to insert your first plate. Open the plate transfer box and take out a plate by holding the long edges with your thumb and index finger. Push down like this. Make sure you're using the right size guide and with the printed side facing you, gently put the plate into the appropriate guide slot. Remember this, when you move each plate from the transfer box to the guide slot, do it quickly and make sure the sensitive side is facing away from any light source. If you move too slowly or expose the plate to bright light, it can partially erase the image. Push the plate down with your fingertip until you feel the scanner begin pulling it and the plate is moving on its own. Your finger should be flush with the top of the plate guide. At this point, you'll see the LED turn yellow, which means that slot is in use. You can simultaneously load up to four plates without waiting. A slot is ready to load with another plate as soon as the LED changes from yellow to green. Each scanned plate will automatically be erased and then drop into the receiving tray at the bottom of the scanner. When you pick them up, be careful not to scratch the sensitive surface or nick the edges. Now you can prep that plate for another use. Once scanned, your imaging software will take over and allow you to view, enhance, and store each image. Viewing the image is step five, and you should follow the directions provided by the software manufacturer for viewing and storing your images. By the way, many practices take a permanent pen and write the date they first start using each plate or assign plates to a specific user. Write on the dark side. This helps keep track of plate usage. We mentioned earlier that plates should be erased within 24 hours of their next use for best image quality. If a plate needs to be erased, this can easily be done. First, make sure the erase function is active on the ScanX control panel. The blue erase light will be illuminated. In your computer's imaging program, select Erase from the list of functions. Then, take the plates you want to prepare and pass them through the ScanX as if they were being scanned. Now your plates are ready to use. Please review your user's manual for additional information on erasing plates with ScanX. That's pretty much the whole process. Let's take a minute and look at how you handle extra oral imaging. The same rules apply. Make sure your plate is completely erased. 
The plate goes into an X-ray cassette like this one. Use a cassette without an intensifying screen. As we did with the intraoral plates, the tube side, the blank side of the plate, faces the tube side of the cassette. Since the plate doesn't go into the mouth, there's no barrier envelope. Load the cassette into your X-ray unit as you would for film and start using the same exposure settings as if you were making a film X-ray using an intensifying screen. Like intraoral exposures, you may need to adjust based on your preferences. After you've taken the image, bring the exposed plate still in the cassette to the ScanX. Just as you did for intraoral images, make sure your computer, monitor, and ScanX are turned on and your imaging software is active. Use your imaging software to activate ScanX and choose the image type and resolution you want. The four LEDs will turn green. Now you're ready to load your first extra oral plate. Make sure there are four plate guides in place. Position the cassette so that the tube side is facing down like this. Open the cassette and with your fingertips, take the phosphor plate out of the cassette. Quickly, with the tube side facing the ScanX, Put the plate against the curved surface behind the plate guides. Gently slide the plate down until the rollers take over and the plate begins moving on its own. When this happens, all four track lights will turn yellow. Only one extra oral plate can be scanned at a time. The scanned and erased plate will drop into the receiving tray. You can prepare it and reuse it just like intraoral plates. Now you've worked with both intraoral and extraoral phosphor plates. Your ScanX is intended to be left on all day. If you want to turn it off at the end of each day, first exit from your imaging software, following the software instructions. Then turn off the power to the ScanX by pressing and holding the membrane switch for around two seconds until you see the green light above the switch turn off. Just a few more thoughts. One of the greatest benefits to ScanX is that it's designed to be maintenance-free for many years. If you want to clean your ScanX, first turn it off and unplug it from the outlet. Use a soft, lint-free towel and a disinfectant solution or a non-abrasive household cleaner. Protect your ScanX by making sure you never spray cleaner directly onto the scanner. Make sure no cleaner or liquid drips into the unit and canned air type products should not be used because they will blow dust into the ScanX. Let the unit air dry before plugging it back in. Always handle your imaging plates carefully and avoid scratching them. When you clean your plates, use lint-free 100% cotton gauze, not cotton balls. Gently wipe the gauze over the dry plate surface, wipe back and forth, and then use a circular motion. To clean any stains on the plate, dampen the gauze in denatured ethyl alcohol and wipe them with the same side-to-side -side and circular motion. Completely dry the plate surface by wiping with another piece of cotton gauze and make sure the plate is completely dry before using it. A plate doesn't need to be disinfected unless you feel it's been contaminated. If a plate has come in contact with a source of contamination, a 2% glutaraldehyde solution can be used to clean it. Never soak plates overnight. After you've disinfected a plate, clean and dry it as we discussed before. The plate guides remove easily and can be washed with soap and water. Make sure you dry them completely. Never autoclave your plates or plate guides. Air Techniques thanks you for choosing ScanX. We're here to support you. Call your authorized Air Techniques dealer or visit airtechniques.com for more information. Enjoy your ScanX.